Hi, I'm George, and today I'm here with one of my clients, Ilsa Nopen, and she's going to be sharing with you some of the lessons she's learned uh, in building her coaching business. Maybe it'll help you as well. And um, we'll also learn about how she works with her clients and what kinds of things she does. So, hi, Ilsa. Great having you here. Hi, George. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Yeah. So, uh, let me read the the short bio that you sent me so that everybody can have a sense of mm -hmm. what you do and then we'll go into some of the lessons you've learned as you built your business okay. all right so here it is so ilsa is a career and leadership coach her passion is to help her clients step up to the next level in their professional development and to live the life that they want she creates a learning environment where her clients uncover their uniqueness and harness it effectively so I'll have the link to her website in, um, in the notes of the video. Ilsa is currently in Portugal, but Ilsa, you might be uh, relocating to Belgium. Might be, yeah. But yeah. still, uh, yeah. yeah. In the so, process of decision. Yeah, yeah so, uh, but you do work with clients around the world and you do you know, Zoom calls like this, or if they're in local to you, of course, you could maybe do in person, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. I have some clients indeed with whom I work uh, here locally, uh, but most of my clients are spread all over the world, so I, I uh, work online with them. That's great. Yeah. So uh, let's get started with some of, the, some of the important lessons you've learned as you built your coaching business. Um, where would you like to do you want any particular thought you want to start with? Um, yeah, I think the, the main, um, my main lesson is, uh, or what uh, I got from working with you is really structure. Um, when we start working, I felt like, you no, know, I, I realized the, the main building blocks of a business, uh, of building the type of business that I am building, but, uh, I really didn't see how to put it together, how to get down to it, um, how to, uh, create more effectiveness. Um, and, and so that, that's really, uh, one main thing that I, I feel I've taken away is, um, creating that structure in my business, um, and understanding how things are linked, how, um, how they influence each other. Uh, and, and what to do, what the different steps are. Uh, so it's really, it's like, you know, I felt like I was a bit in a, also in a, in a spider web and, you know, this was all untangled and, and simplified. That's another way. And can you think of an example where, of a, of a piece of the structure that was helpful for you? Um, well, so much. I think um, it's, uh, understanding uh, the, the marketing uh, so how uh, uh, what type you know a simple thing about uh, what type of posts uh, to, to create a blog post and um, so you know what what um, what are the themes uh, you know I have big groups of themes um, and then uh, underneath uh, you know in each theme I can divide that into further uh, subjects uh, of post. So that's, for instance, one structure. Rather than thinking, oh, what am I going to write about today? Um, it's, it's really, okay, I've got these big themes and I can go through it and say, okay, you know, I can write about this uh, and then next time I will write about something else. So that's one example, for instance. Hmm. Yeah. And another example I know that we've we've worked on is you know getting new clients from from facebook right yeah um you know you have begun to become consistent in sharing exactly. your thoughts and your experiences on your facebook business page and yeah. then you are also using facebook ads to get the word out about this this content yeah. and and as a result you're you're getting inquiries and right so t tell, tell us about that experience yeah so uh indeed um one other big lesson that i have learned is really the value of consistency so um you know it's being consistent in my post and then uh understanding on how to yeah what else to do it because putting them up is one thing but indeed that whole facebook marketing um uh, 
uh, strategy, if you like, uh, to use. So how to do it, um, what, uh, how to create audiences, um, uh, how to be able to, to reach uh, the people, and, and the, also the concept of having a warm audience and a cold audience. You know, all these things, that there, there's a lot of knowledge that I got from you, uh, and, and I realize that now I'm also able to create things myself, you know, while six months ago we, uh, so we sat together creating certain audiences, now I realize uh, what it means. So, um, so how to reach the people uh, who uh, are potential clients. Um, so, and then indeed what I've noticed is that I get more inquiries, I've got clients or clients coming back after they, they, they read a post, they, I, you know, I noticed that then they, they come back. So, um, you know, there, there's definitely um, uh, a, a clear value in being consistent and, and having that strategy indeed. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, right? Because it's when we create content, it's not just for potential clients to find us, but it's also for previous clients to benefit. Yeah. And to remind them maybe of some of the things that we've talked with them about, uh, to encourage them in, the, in, in, the, in their ongoing transformation. And then when they feel ready again, of course, they're, they, they feel like they've been in touch with you, right? Because of the content. And so then they reach out again and, and, and kind yeah. of, yeah. Um, and, and even for current clients, sorry, just to add, uh, even for current clients, they would then in my sessions, in our sessions, refer to a post and they say, yeah, you know, that resonated because of this or that or whatever. So, so you, you, you feel that, you know, you're, you're building up stronger relations with, uh, with clients. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to, Tell us about, okay, so consistency, I totally agree, is so important in terms of, in terms of our marketing and, our, 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 and, and really marketing itself um, is a vague word and some people really hate it, you know. How do you, I, I'm curious, how do you see marketing now? What does that mean for you? Yeah, indeed, I, I used to hate it too. <laughs> Um, well, now I see it more as, um, uh, on one hand, adding value uh, to, to my clients. It's just, you know, sharing ideas, thoughts, um, tips, or, you know, um, things like that. So it's, on one hand, um, just sharing uh, value with my clients, or even... Um, 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 yeah, just, uh, how should I say, now it's more, I, I, I'm also uh, less uh, strict on myself, like, you know, it doesn't all have to be uh, perfect, uh, I allow myself to experiment, and also not to be perfect, you know, sometimes I might put up something where I think, oh, well, it could be better, but better that than nothing, uh, so, yeah, I, I think uh, there's an element in there too, it's just, um, experimentation and, and therefore taking it all a bit lighter uh, while learning. I mean, you know, after that you can say, okay, well, next time I'll do it differently. But um, but it's just you know making sure that it that it moves uh, and that you know it also stays uh, a bit more fun and, and light, joyful as you would call it. Yes, yes. Uh, so another part of the consistency that I think is challenging for people is finding a rhythm with which they can be consistent. Yeah. Tell us about what you've learned in trying to find that rhythm for yourself. And, and if you want to share any aspect of your rhythm, uh, because everybody's rhythm is different, right? My schedule, I always tell people, listen, I can, I'm happy to share my schedule with you, but it's not following my schedule that's important. It's no. learning from what I, how I'm doing things that may be interesting for you, may be useful, and then crafting your own schedule that matches your energy and your life responsibilities and, um, you know, your goals, right? But tell us about that for, your, for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, indeed, well, I'm still in the process of, of finding uh, my ideal rhythm. Um, so I haven't, I'm not that far yet, but what I do realize is that having that 
structure, that uh, understanding of how to approach uh, my business helps me in, in um, making sure that at least I do show up and that I do the things that I want to do. So I might not do it every morning, uh, but what I uh, do, for instance, is that I work a lot with, with a timer. I think, okay, now I'm just going to write for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it is. And I notice that it helps me to just come up with at least something which is good enough to, to, to be put up. Uh, so when I'm under time constraint, I, I well, I'm not sure I do it only when I'm under, under time constraint, but I really try to use the timer as much as possible so that I it helps me, um, you know, come to, to results uh, and, and um, getting into that rhythm of also showing up. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I use timers as well. I yeah, I learned it from you. <laughs> yeah, just throughout the day, it's so helpful for me to have a sense of, you know, what one of the things, yes, we, we, we work more sort of consciously when we see the timer going, but also mm. I think once the timer ends, it's important to take a break. <laughs> yeah. It's helpful for yeah. me anyway, just to take breaks. Otherwise, too much time at the computer can, can, can burn us out, you know, from yeah here so uh great um anything else you want to share in terms of business lessons before we move on to another topic um uh, no i think i've for now i think that the, the main uh, i think i've shared the main thing that great, the main great. Thing that I was yeah about. so let's talk about what kind of work that you do with clients you do career coaching you do leadership coaching Right now, you're even uh, an organization is pursuing you to do some cultural change for their organization, but you work mostly with individuals and you do yeah. workshops to help people understand their talents and how to use them and et cetera. But, but uh, instead of me saying what it is, why don't you share with us what, yeah. how you love working with clients? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Um, I think uh, talent management uh, is, is um, well, it's close to my heart in the sense that I believe uh, that, that um, you know, everybody should really work, know their talents and work as much as possible with their talents. So, and that we could craft, uh, create our lives uh, around that. So um, what I do with my, my uh, clients is really uh, helping them um, identify surely their, their talents uh, and other things that are important to um, get the be able to identify the career that they uh, want uh, to to have because some of my clients are coming uh, to to me to because they want to shift career so it's helping them identify the new new career that they want to uh, pursue but it could also be a career acceleration which again talent management uh, is very important where um, you know career accelerating means okay how can I you know, move faster to my uh, get my promotion uh, or being ready for uh, the for stepping up in my in my in my role. Um, so it's really about yeah about that about stepping up about really um, making uh, the most and and stepping into their their power. Mm. Um, yeah, so so I would think that's uh, a key part of and my work. Yeah, and the work you do, you know, you do the one-to-one -one work with clients, mm -hmm. and that's how most people would, would, you know, they're interested, they would just contact you for the one-to-one. -one. Um, do you do, like, an exploratory call, or? Yeah, I always have a, an exploratory call, indeed, uh, where, uh, because some of my uh, clients are also coming to me for life coaching, so uh, it's really seeing, okay, what's the need of the client? Um, and and uh, then see which program would be the best fit for them. Um, so yeah, also interesting is that I am now working with very different, let's say, generations. Uh, so I've started working a lot with uh, millennials now. Um, I'm teaching at the, at the university here at Catholica, and I also have uh, new clients now who are young millennials, and they're very different from. This morning I worked with somebody in Australia who uh, is um, around her 60s 
in so so I work with very different uh, different generations, uh, and they all have their particular um, how do you say peculiarities. You know, it's a very it's a different approach uh, for each generation. Yeah. So I also give workshops indeed, uh, and I like that. I like uh, the interaction. Um, so I love to work with uh, with groups. And uh, I'm moving more and more, uh, well, I want to move more and more to uh, also online workshops. So that's going to be the next step. Well, and what would you say, given that you look at talents and things, if you were to look at your own talents, like what would you say makes you unique as a, as a career leadership and life coach? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I, um, well, what I'm also getting as, as feedback is that uh, so I have a strong empathy in the sense that I understand the needs uh, of people and I really um, want to also help them come to uh, the solution that uh, they, they want. Um, so it's also being solution oriented, uh, creative also coming up, you know, trying to helping them to think out of the box and myself also thinking uh, out of the box if not without a box um, also thinking in terms of you know strategy because um, okay you know it's, it's when we talk about uh, crafting one's life is okay when you think of what life you want to have in uh, 10 15 20 years you know then there is we have to create that vision and then also look at okay so if I want to get there what are the steps that I need to do to take today to get there. Um, so that, um, yeah, I would think those are the, the main uh, talents and, and also my sharing of knowledge, which is why, you know, I, l I enjoy uh, giving workshops. It's uh, sharing the knowledge and, and uh, spreading the word and of, of, you know, for instance, sharing my knowledge around talent. Uh, you know, the more people would know about it, the more people would be uh, happy in their life and their professional life and personal life. Yeah, that's great. Also, uh, you speak multiple languages, right? Yes, I uh, work in English, French, and Dutch. So Dutch is my mother tongue. Uh, French was really my first uh, language. And uh, well, I don't really work in Portuguese, um, but of course, I have some clients who are Portuguese and, you know, I understand enough and I speak it well enough, but I don't speak it enough to feel comfortable in a professional uh, environment. Same with Italian. I used to speak it very well, but that uh, yeah. um, I don't really use. It. So no. English, Dutch, and French, you work yeah. in all three languages. That's amazing. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let's wrap up this conversation. Is there anything else you want to share before we before we go? And uh, just oh, I should mention, with, if anybody is interested in connecting with Ilsa, um, the, your website also is truenorthconsulting.eu. True T R U E North N O R T H Consulting.eu. And I'll put that in the link of notes as well as uh, your the link to your Facebook business page and anything else we we decide to, to put there. It's fine. So, thank you. Thank you, Elsa. Thank Great you. Bye. And uh, thank you. Bye bye.